Today we will have a look at two very interesting verbs llamarse and apellidarse. Let's have a look. Hello and welcome back to another Spanish lesson with me, Eva. As promised, today we will have a look at two very interesting verbs because it it's not just the verb, they also have this funny ending SE in the end. And SE stands for pronouns, okay? For um, a group of pronouns called reflexive pronouns, you don't need to know the name, but basically um, we are talking about examples with llamarse in apellidarse with examples of the so-called reflexive verbs, okay? I will have a lesson on reflexive verbs where I will really explain it in more detail. For the time being, I just want to refer back to my lesson on the grid and see uh, so you can see, so I can show you how the grid will help us with these reflexive verbs, okay? With llamarse, apellidarse and all the rest, okay? Good, okay. So, if you remember, this was the grid, okay? And I told you that you should use it Whenever you are learning, working on your pronouns and whenever you are working on your verbs. In other words, learning the conjugations, okay? Because a conjugation is basically going from the left and then the right, no? Basically giving all six forms of any given verb in any given tense, okay? Be it a present tense, a past or a future tense, okay? So the grid helps us with the pronouns and it helps us with the verbs. And today we have a combination of both. We have a verb which also has a pronoun built into it, okay? So the verbs llamarse and apellidarse, they have this pronoun built in. What does that mean? When we conjugate this verb and this one and we go down the grid, using the grid, we will be doing the same with this pronoun, with this reflexive pronoun, okay? So, let's see the pronouns first. Let's see the grid for the reflexive pronoun, okay? So here, for the first person singular, it's me. For the second person singular, it's te. For the third person singular, it's se. So se is both for him, her and usted. Okay, it will work for all three. In plural, first person is nos. Second person plural is os. And third person again se. Okay? Again, nos is the same and os and se, whether it's masculine or feminine. Okay? Whether it's nosotros or nosotras, nos will be the reflexive pronoun. For vosotros and vosotras, os will be the reflexive pronoun. And for ellos, ellas and ustedes, the reflexive pronoun is se. Okay? Good. Okay, so we've done, 
we've dealt with the pronoun, with the se. Now we need to see a conjugation of llamar, okay? Llamarse, apellidarse, uh, basically means to be called, or when, when you say your name, uh, or this is for when you say your surname, okay? So, uh, in English you would just say my name is Eva and my surname is McConaughey, uh, but in Spanish they use the verb, these two verbs. They don't say my name is, uh, they say I'm named Eva and I'm surnamed <laughs> uh, McConaughey, for example. No? So they use a special verb to tell their name, give their name and give their surname. Okay? So, Let's conjugate llamar. Again, using the grid, and here we will do the same with apellidar. So, llamar will be llamo, llamas, llama, and in plural, Llamamos, llamáis, llaman, ok? Apellidar will be apellido, apellidas. Apellida, and in plural, apellidamos, apellidais, and apellidan. Ok? Llamo, llamas, llama, llamamos, llamáis, llaman. On its own, the verb llamar without this pronoun simply means to call, no? You can say, oh, I'm trying to call this number, I've been trying to call it all day and there's no answer, no? So, llamar on its own simply means to call. But when you see llamarse, it's to be called or to, to, to be named or to, to have a name, no? Same with apellidar. Apellidar, I don't even think you could use it without se. Or maybe, maybe, maybe you can. I'll, I'll have to check on that one. Uh, I've never seen it used uh, without it. Always with se, okay? Now, what we have to do now is join the two grids. The pronoun grid with the verb. Okay, so imagine, imagine I'm taking this grid off, peeling it off, and then pasting it down here. Me will be here, te will be here, and se will become, will be here. Nos, os, and se. Okay, and then same here. Me, te, se, nos, os, se. Okay, so the exact same grid works the same for the pronouns, all the pronouns, okay? We've already seen the personal pronouns I, you, he, she, we, you, they. We've seen those in Spanish. Yo, tú, él, nosotros, vosotros, ellos, okay, we've seen those pronouns and we use the exact same grid. Now we are using the grid for the reflexive pronouns. Again, don't worry about the name, uh, but you will come <laughs> across it. You will hear me use it in the future again, okay? So again, we are using the grid for the pronouns. We are using the exact same grid for the verbs. And because these spaces, are always the same, okay? 
this space is always reserved, so to speak, for the first person singular, this one for the second person singular, this one for the third, first, second and third plural, okay? Because these spaces always stand for the same thing or the same person or persons, whether we are using the grid for the pronouns or the verbs, we are always dealing with the same meaning or the same uh, yeah, notions, persons, no? So it's very easy to then join the two together, okay? And we say me llamo, in English it simply means my name is or I'm, okay? Me llamo Eva. And then I may ask you, y tú? Como? How? Como te llamas? What's your name? Como te llamas? And then you tell me your name. And maybe there's someone I really like there, or someone that looks quite interesting, and I'd like to get to know that person better. And I don't know them, but you do. No, there's a guy there. And I ask you, Como se llama ese chico? Hmm? What's that guy's name? Como se llama? Hmm? He. What's his name? Okay. Yo me llamo Eva. Como te llamas tú? Ah, tú te llamas... I don't know, Claire. Y él... Se llama Peter. Ok? Nos llamamos. I don't know, maybe uh, we are not talking first names anymore. Uh, maybe there's a rock band and the, the members of the rock band might say Nos llamamos. We are called or we are the Beatles or whatever the band is. Uh, Nos llamamos One Direction. Ok? Our name is One Direction, or we are the Beatles, okay? Os llamáis, again, maybe there's an interview with a rock band and three, four, five members, musicians are sitting there all answering questions. And maybe the first question is, well, what's your name? No? Como os llamáis? And they then say, nos llamamos, we are called or our band is called whatever. And se llaman, okay? Se llaman, they are called or their name is, okay? And the same thing here goes for the surname, okay? Apellido really only is a surname, uh, whereas llamar could be your first name, your Christian name, it could be uh, your nickname even. <laughs> no, you might want to, you might prefer to give your nickname or artistic name or just a name of anything, no? A book, a song, uh, como se llama esta canción, no? Como se llama, what's this song called? Como se llama esta canción, no? Or how do you uh, call uh, these, um, um, I don't know, uh, how do you call these um, things, whatever the things are. Como se llaman estas cosas? Como se llaman? Or this type of songs, no? There's a type of songs and you don't know uh, the, the, the sort of the genre of, of the music. Como se llaman estas canciones? Uh, españolas, uh, ah, flamenco, o boleros, o, o something, no? Como se llaman? What are they called? Okay? Good. Okay, so this was really just to show you how when I say the grid works for the pronouns, it works for the verbs, well here we see both in action together. Why? Because we actually have a verb with a pronoun as a part of it, okay? It's not llamar, which is a different verb uh, with, you know, slightly different meaning. 
it's llamarse, okay? And apellidarse, okay? So, whenever you come across verbs with this ending, you will have to combine them or when you conjugate them, when you go llamo, llamas, llama, llamamos, llamáis, llaman, you will not only conjugate the verb, you will have to, let's say, conjugate the pronoun se, okay? And this is, if we can call it a conjugation, because conjugation is strictly verbs, but okay, let's just stick to that word. You will have to conjugate the verb with the pronouns, okay? together. So, llamarse is me llamo, te llamas, se llama. Nos llamamos, os llamáis, se llaman. And then, apellidarse, me apellido, te apellidas, se apellida. Nos apellidamos, os apellidáis, se apellidan. Ok? Good. Don't forget the pronouns when you conjugate these reflexive verbs. Okay, great. Good luck with this and I'll see you in the next lesson.